looks like a great opportunity to step foot on the continent with the Delhi Penguins. And we got protection from the wind. It's all working out here, team. Uh, we're going to be launching Zodiacs in about 15 minutes. So this is your 30-minute notice for the gangway for a landing. Now, kayakers... We're not kayaking, though. Due to all that strong wind out there, if it shifted just a few degrees, we could get into some serious trouble. So come along with us in the boats and step ashore here on the continent at Brown Bluff with the Delhi Penguins. We're Boris, our expedition leader extraordinaire, just approved a continental landing. We're about to set foot on Antarctica. How exciting! We're headed for Brown Bluff, in the Antarctic Sound, on the northern end of the icy Weddell Sea. This isolated area of the world makes for such an exciting navigation. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That is crazy. <laughs> we are all struck by the sheer size of the tabular icebergs floating so close to our ship. Antarctica is a wild and rough place with no guarantees. The weather conditions here can change very fast and there's no way to forecast the elements. You have to roll with it. We have been hoping for a continental landing, not really knowing if it would happen. I am beyond excited! This is the moment I've been waiting for! My reason to start this whole journey! My dream to set foot on Antarctica! Here it is! <laughs> Brown Bluff! We have permission to take the Zodiacs and head to the shore. We are ready to attempt our first continental landing. So excited! Brown Bluff is a Tuya, a volcano that erupted underneath the surface of a glacier one million years ago. The volcano is called Brown Bluff because when it erupted, the lava froze nearly vertically, creating these steep slopes and rusty-colored volcanic cliffs. The basaltic rocks of Brown Bluff stand dark and tall against the snowy background. Below the cliffs, there's a long beach blocked on both sides by large glaciers spilling brush ice into the sea. It's a breezy morning and the ice is moving around. The coast is very exposed to the wind, the waves and the tidal currents, so landing and leaving can be difficult. Despite the strong winds, we are lucky to make it. And guess what? More penguins! Those little guys. It's so fun to watch them balance their steps through the rocky beach. Brown Bluff is covered with penguins. The desolated rocky beach is home to 60,000 nesting pairs of Adelis, plus a few gentoos. And birds! So many species of birds in the air. Snow petrels, skate petrels, and skuas breed on the slopes of the cliff. Here's what's different about the Adelie penguins. They have white rings around the eyes and long feathers hiding most of their red bill. Remember I told you that penguins love rocks? Adelies are no exception. The reason stones are so important is that during heavy snowstorms, penguins need to keep their eggs elevated from the ground to dry faster and avoid freezing. Females lay two eggs in November. Both parents take turns incubating the eggs in their brood patch. This is an area of bare skin on their bellies with extra blood vessels that helps to keep the eggs at just the right temperature. After 35 days around Christmas, the eggs start to hatch. Look at that! How lucky! We get to see some baby chicks! What is cuter than a penguin? 
a baby penguin. They're so sweet and tiny and fluffy. Penguins feed their chicks by regurgitation. Can you see the little spines inside this penguin's mouth? The spines help the penguin keep the food into its crop. It's a special pouch in the throat. That way the food is always ready to be regurgitated for the chicks. Penguins have their problems in the form of giant petrels and skewers. The predatory birds are always on the prowl, trying to steal eggs or grab the newly hatched little chicks. Look at that! This is a crazy photo, captured by avian Jas Oberoi during our trip. This bird is stealing an egg from a colony of gentle penguins. Penguins are always coming and going out at sea, as parents take turns to get food for the chicks. When penguins are in a hurry, you will see them jumping out of the water. That allows them to take a deep breath in midair so they can move faster. The Adelie penguin can leap very high, 3 meters or 10 feet out of the water. There are about 2.4 million Adelie penguins. Their nesting grounds are decreasing on the west side of the Antarctic Peninsula, as there is not as much ice as there used to be. But in all of Antarctica, their overall population is stable. The lifespan of an Adelie penguin is up to 20 years. I'm so happy to be here. It's so fantastic to be so close to these animals living at the end of the world. What an amazing place to set foot on the continent. Brown Bluff may be one of the most scenic locations in the entire northern tip of the Antarctic continent, with its rusty cliff walls, fallen boulders, and beautiful volcanic creations capped with ice. When it's time to go, I don't want to leave. It's so difficult to say goodbye to this magical place. Today, One Ocean is celebrating 10 years of world polar exploration. The company has contributed to several research expeditions, including the search and discovery of Sir John Franklin's long-missing HMS Erebus ship, solving one of the greatest polar mysteries of all time. Happy birthday, One Ocean! Cheers to your next 10 years of exciting expeditions, research, and taking people to the ends of the world. <laughs> Thanks for having me on board. It's already the best trip of my life. And there's so much more to come. Tomorrow, I am taking you on a hike up to the top of the volcano on Penguin Island. Mm -hmm.